that they're working together, they're watching what each other are doing, they're tapping the tape down, not pushing it down. Yeah, not kicking the tape along. See, they're looking at each other, they're looking at what each other are doing. This is how I expect you all to work when you're on site, working as a team. So again, not kicking the tape, just tamping it down with your feet. Okay, this is the critical bit. Everyone watch the technique that they're using here. Slava's just taking the weight of the panel yeah. up there. That's yeah. important as well because that stops it from rippling or... And it's not pulling it, it's not tension on no. it. No, taking the weight of the Again, Scott, treat this as if they were, as if you were matching a graphic. So you'd be going from the centre. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not like Scott and Slava are in here all day, every day laying floors. They, you know, we don't lay the floors here. They've got a similar amount of experience as you guys as laying these floors. So again, let's just watch the technique, watch how they work together. And again, just repeating this for the video, try to keep most of your bleed to the front of the stand.
you need very little bleed at the back of the stand because the system is going there. So keep your bleed at the front so when the carpet overlaps, um, you're more likely to get a good join. Well done, that was pretty much flawless. <laughs> flawless, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you need to worry about how much you can it off. And again, just for the video, um, what we're doing here is, is putting barriers up because when we leave the site, what we're trying to avoid is other contractors trundling through with materials, um, forklifts, um, cherry pickers, all kinds of other things. And these barriers um, won't guarantee that they won't do that, but hopefully it makes it plain that this is a floor area that shouldn't be walked across or trundled across with with anything um.